वेलकम यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट अकेडमी अ प्रोडक्ट कंट्रोल एंड इंजीनियरिंग सॉफ्टवेयर अकेडमी एंड कंसल्टेंसी अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज बेस्ड ऑन अर्न वैल्यू मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इंप्लीमेंटेशन इन प्रेमावेरा पी सिक्स एंड हाउ प्रेमावेरा पी सिक्स यूज इज अर्न वैल्यू मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन इट सेल्फ सो हाउ द लिमिटेशन हैव बीन इंप्लीमेंटेड सो आई विल जस्ट गो थ्रू सम बेसिक टर्म विच विच यू नीड टू नो अबाउट इन प्रेमावेरा पी सिक्स हाउ इट्स कैलकुलेटेड एंड वट आर देयर बेसिस सो हेयर माई प्रेमावेरा पी सिक्स हैव बीन ओपन एंड आई विल गो थ्रू Uh, by each term and what what are the terms are so first of all i will discuss with you about the basic term which are our planned value earned value and actual cost so these are pv as ev not equal to ev and ac so these three terms are very basic terms used in primary p6 uh, we also call them a general terms so what are that one so what are the planned value planned value is a work which have been uh, scheduled to be completed at this data date so what is the data date when you press f9 uh, from here so you will get the data date at which this value have been planned to be done to be completed to date so what about the earned value so how much uh, work you have done to date to date and what is the actual cost ac so how much budget you have spended to complete this activity so this there are other names for that one so you can also call actual cost of work performed so it also called acwp and also e uh, we also called budgeted cost of work performed so we can also say bcwp and budget budgeted cost of work performed for that one so also for pv this one pv this one pv is also called uh, bc ws budgeted cost of work schedule for this one so this these are the general terms which have been used for the uh, this uh, local terms so how this calculated planned value cost so this is calculated on the base of schedule percent complete so what is the schedule percent complete so how much uh, the time have been elapsed to date so it will be multiplied with your budgeted total cost so what is the budgeted total cost so this budgeted total cost is based on your labor cost non labor cost and material and expenses so before adding these four co columns in it so when these all column will be combined so there will be budgeted total cost so budgeted total cost is also equal to bac what is bac budget at completion this one is budget at completion so this one is simple so you can say this one is budget at completion so this one when budget at completion this bac will be multiplied with your schedule percent complete so you will get your pv this one is planned value cost so you will get this one by bac this one multiplied with your schedule percent complete so schedule percent complete you will get after assigning your baseline so how much duration you have, you have been passed from your baseline to date so it will just divide your whole duration uh, with your product duration uh, and your baseline start and baseline baseline uh, total duration so it will get you uh, a schedule percent complete and i have a video on how can you calculate your schedule percent complete manually in excel so do you can watch that video so this one is uh, that one the clear one uh, the next one is ev earned value earned value how it's calculated this is performance percent complete there is column which is called performance percent complete so i will show you the column performance percent complete will be multiplied by bac the same bac so you can get that one so actual cost will be like cost percent complete uh, will be multiplied with bac also so that these are all similar and i will show you all the column which which i have discussed uh, right now uh, right now you can go here in the columns and here these there is uh, something like uh, percent complete and when you go there cost percent complete and you can get from here uh, performance percent complete as well as you can get here schedule percent complete so what are these column for uh, here the column have been added i have just added temporarily so this one is cost percent complete i have shown you uh, like here i will show you the complete window uh, this one actual you can see here this one actual percent complete actual cost and it will be multiplied by this one uh, no no this one uh, this is budgeted total cost let me uh, just uh, let me just close out some columns so we can just go and see something clearly 
and here we have budget total cost now. When this budget total cost, as I told you, will be multiplied with cost percent. So you will get here this one AC. So also will multiply with performance. So how this performance is calculated? The question is that how this performance percent complete is calculated. So this performance percent complete is calculated. Maybe it's based on physical duration or unit. So what type of progress measure, progress measurement system you have implemented on your project. So you will decide any one of this, that one. So that will consider your performance percent complete. So that is the work you have done to date. So how this basic term will be work. Also the schedule percent complete is based on this one is duration. So how Pramagira P6 work if you haven't assigned your uh, cost to your project. So you will not get this percentage. Why? Because whenever you update your performance like this one activity, you update it. So uh, you can see here, uh, like their uh, planned value cost, this one get total here on top 33,651. So similar and value cost will be updated when you update this blinding concrete. Like you updated here uh, for 100%, like performance have been updated 100%. So it completed here and value has 88,041. Uh, so when you updated has 60%, so here is 10,914. So this one uh, go to the uh, WBS level, this WBS level top and as, as per descending order. So at the last one at that WBS level zero. So it got to total. So in Primera P6, this formula work reverse like uh, uh, earned value is calculated like a perf uh, schedule percent complete, uh, like a performance percent complete. This one, this one performance percent complete is calculated on the base of uh, your earned value cost, earned value cost divided by your BAC. Budget, uh, budget at completion cost, like uh, budget total cost also similar. So the per percentage is calculated uh, in primary P6 like that one. So that's why uh, the cost is very necessary in primary P6. So why cost is very unique and cost is uh, uh, implementing and why 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 it's that there is need of cost in primary P6. Uh, also, you can use the labor units also, but I will show you that if there is an activity of waterproofing for foundation, so there will be some quantity of this activity, but in a floor system like uh, in steel work, so the quantity is different. It is maybe in ton or in any other unit. So you cannot measure that how much work the, the, these guys have been done and how much uh, also, you cannot even uh, aggregate all the quantities like uh, this is uh, something else, concrete is something else, work, uh, waterproofing is something else. So every every work is different. So uh, every work percentage like 80%, 10%, 100% cannot be aggregated here. So percentage cannot be based on uh, duration. Like we have a duration like uh, there is 10 days, 5 days or 6 days duration. So you cannot compare an activity having a weight of uh, uh, like cost of 8 million or 4 million. So you cannot match with an activity of same similar duration and having a, a different weight and having different cost impact on your project. So you cannot measure that one. So we uh, required some uh, system in product management system. So you can we can measure at how much we work we have done and how much cost we have achieved and uh, what the performance percent or what the scale percent we have uh, right now. So what 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 are our uh, key performance indicators in our project? So we implement that earned value management system. So here we have just uh, finalized our uh, uh, budgeted at completion, uh, planned value cost and earned value cost and actual cost. And the next term is estimate at completion. This one is very basic estimate at completion. So what what will be your estimation at completion cost? So there are uh, like in primary P6, uh, there are four methods for that one. And I will show you, uh, I have also a video on that one. Uh, so you can watch that video also in admin preferences. You can also uh, go for this one is uh, based on uh, uh, this one is based on uh, admin preferences. So you can select here uh, what is the technique for computing uh, on the uh, end value tabs. You can go there technique for computing estimate to complete. So there are uh, like two techniques basic one, basically uh, ETC estimate to complete maybe your remaining cost. So what is the remaining cost uh, if the work have been done 50% and the 50% cost will be your remaining cost. So what is PF? PF the factor, the performance factor. So you can calculate that PF on the base of CPI. I will tell you later on what are CPI 
what is SPI. So there are four types, four types or four methods to calculate that one. Uh, so you can use that one. So PF performance factor will be multiplied by it at completion minus earned value uh, will be done and then you can get your estimate to complete. So in our case also uh, you have to set that one in your WBS. So each WBS like this one in WBS you have to implement that setting the same. If you haven't implement here so it will uh, not work right there. So this one have been done. So after doing that one, you will get your estimate to complete after applying that formula. So uh, uh, what uh, estimate to complete have been finished. So estimate at completion, that one is uh, different. So estimate at completion is like uh, actual cost. This one actual cost uh, will be added here into estimate to complete. Like you can see here. So this one is actual cost will be added this one will be added here uh, like in etc this one is etc and this one is ac this both will be added to combine estimate at completion so these are all general terms like etc eac uh, bac ac ec and pv so these are four general uh, five general uh, term uh, six general terms which we use uh, in our whole earned value management system uh, in earned value analysis phase only so now we'll come up with the variances. So what are the variances we use in Primavera P6? And in Primavera P6, uh, well, the variances, these are commonly all used in uh, earned value management system. Uh, AV, first of all, we'll discuss about accounting variance and which is AV. So can we see here, is there available AV? So we'll go here, we'll check for accounting variance. Uh, so we'll remove that one, the column we don't need right there. Okay, so we'll need here accounting variance estimate to complete uh, should be there. So I need here accounting variance. I will go here in the end value, uh, end value and also we'll add here accounting variance. And now uh, accounting variance have been added cost uh, variance index. I don't need index right now. Indexes, I will remove all the indexes right now. And here cost variance have been added schedule variance is there and what is the uh, last one uh, variance at completion so these are all mm, four type of variances and this one okay so i will explain you all the variances and now i have applied all the variances so First of all, I will discuss with you about uh, accounting variance. Accounting variance is like planned value. This one PV uh, minus uh, PV minus with AC. AC is actual cost. So you will get here accounting variance. So if this variance is positive, then your project this variance is, is positive. Then it means your project is under budget. And if your this variance is negative, then it means you are our budget. So accounting variance is like that one. So what about the cost variance? So the cost variance is like uh, earned value cost minus actual cost. So EV minus AC. So if this value is positive, this value is positive, then you are under budget. And if this value is negative, then you are our budget. Now, what the next is uh, schedule variance. So schedule variance is earned value cost minus planned value cost. So if this value is positive, then it means you are ahead schedule. And if this value is negative, then it means that you are behind the schedule. So the last one is variance at completion. So variance at completion is your uh, budget at completion. This one BAC minus estimate at completion. If this value is positive, then you are under budget. If this value is negative, then you are over budget.
So this one is your variances, all type of variances and their indications. And now we'll discuss about the indexes, all the indexes. I will just uh, go here and I will just remove uh, accounting various, which I don't need here, accounting variance. And I will add here all the indexes from here. Cost variance index, uh, cost index, cost variance index, uh, cost performance index, and schedule performance index, and schedule variance index, and to complete performance index. So these are all index. So whenever somebody talk with you about index, so index means there is something uh, equal to zero or less than zero. So there is something about uh, one. So index, so when we'll talk about cost performance index, this one CPI. So what is a CPI? CPI is your earned value divided by your actual cost AC. E V divided by AC. So you will get here your uh, CPI. So if this value, this value is like, uh, if this value of this one, this one value is just less than one, then it means that you have spent more than what you have planned. What you have planned. So if this value is greater than one, it means that uh, you have uh, spent less than what you were planned. So the next one is cost variance index. This one, its value is 0.34. So cost variance divided by this one cost variance divided by this one cost variance divided by earned value. So when it's divided, so you will get an answer. So if this value, this value, this one value is less than zero, then it indicates that you have spent more than completed, spent more than completed. And if this value is greater than zero, then it means that you have spent less than completed. This is what, so the next one is schedule percent, uh, schedule performance index. So this one index is also very important while you're making your, uh, uh, this is also called SPI, okay? And this one is CPI, this one is uh, uh, CVI, and this one is CV, also this one here, yeah, cost variance. So SPI is scheduled performance index, so in that one case, EV divided by PV, that's very simple. So if this value is just less than one, it means that you have, a, uh, if this value is less than one, that it means you have less work performed what was you have planned. So if you have greater than one, it means yes, you have performed more than work what you have performed. So in easy word, if you have less than one, so it means you are behind the schedule. And if this is greater than one, it you are ahead of the schedule, ahead of the schedule. This is very simple. So SVI, that one is schedule variance index. SVI, it's simply SV divided, SV means schedule variance, which I have told you this one schedule variance divided by planned value, PV, which I have already told you. So if this value is less than zero, if this value is less than, no, this one, uh, this one is less than zero, it means that you have uh, earned less than the schedule. It means that you are, uh, that you are behind the schedule, the similar. And if it greater than zero, you are ahead the schedule, simply. So the last one is TCPI, TCPI, this one TCPI, to complete performance index, to complete performance index. So the formula is completed. So the simply, you can say here, uh, BSC minus EV divided by 
estimate at completion minus actual cost so this one is formula for that one tcpi so it's like that one if the indicator this one indicator this one indicator is uh, less than one it indicates that you will require lower performance to meet that eac so if this value is greater than one it means it indicates you require higher performance to meet that eac so this one is our total all the indicators so we have uh, five indicators uh, and indication five indexes and four variances and six general terms for whole earned value analysis so we have just completed and gone through for earned value analysis and what are the values in our primary p6 now we'll go to through the uh, some demonstration on excel work and i will go you uh, go through uh, some uh, work and in practically and in show you in graphs so how these are implemented in actually and i will go through my work right now okay so right now there is a schedule and I have just assigned that schedule baseline. So you required, first of all, to assign a baseline. So that one after uh, assigning a baseline, before assigning a baseline, you required to maintain that baseline and you have to assign a baseline here. And after assigning baseline, I have updated only four uh, activities. Like I go here in the activities tab and I have just updated like this one activities. Here you cannot see any uh, schedule percent performance percent because I have added all the columns that are really relevant to the uh, percentage complete. So I will add here uh, like uh, columns that are relevant to that one uh, plant percent and uh, plant percent and schedule percent complete and performance percent complete that are most important columns while you are doing uh, monitoring on your project schedule percent complete here and performance percent complete that are very necessary. Uh, I will add here them. Okay, so this one schedule percent complete because I have run the data date on 13 of October. So I have already completed some activity. This one activity is 80% was just was planned and achieved as a 60%. So this activity is 100% done, 100% done and 100% done. So how can we get that one complete uh, cumulatively uh, and how can we monitor that one uh, in our uh, an Excel sheet? So I will show you. So first of all, you will go here in uh, spreadsheet and you will add here like uh, columns, right? right click here in spreadsheet uh, fields. So you can add here plan value cost, earned value cost and actual cost. Three columns for spreadsheet here and from top one. So first of all, you will select this one all uh, by pressing shift option and you will select copy this one. I have a sheet here. I will show you complete demonstration of that sheet and I will just paste there and I will just go here in the all the columns which are unnecessary and I will delete that column and which clear that columns. So I do not need an activity name. And here we have land value cost and value cost and actual cost. So here we have a duration like uh, you can say here timelines and in my sheet I have just adjusted that intervals in weeks so you can also add here in months and whatever you want so here I will add here dates so the dates have been already added here no so I will just repeat that one option again I will copy that dates and I will just paste here uh, paste special values okay so all the dates will be uh, just uh, pasted I will just repeat that one again because uh, I need to make it transpose uh, paste special I will go here transport values and I will press OK. So after lifting one uh, just column because it's uh, always showing me uh, the end date and I will just leave one, one column and I will apply all the budgeted BAC. So budgeted com at completion is a similar as planned value cost here. So you will also consider that one the same similar. So I will just go and paste special values and transpose and I will paste that one also the similar and I will just copy that one similar and paste that one into PV also. So this one are uh, period to period all uh, that will be remain same until the project if your baseline have been freeze now. What is the next one and the next one is earned value cost and I will just copy that one and I will just paste in the earned value cost here and I will just go and paste special values and I will go here in the transpose 
and just paste there and the next one is i need here uh, as an actual cost i will copy that actual cost and paste here these are single single values on single single uh, durations so we'll go here and paste special values and i will go here to post so after doing that one this one is our data uh, incorporation fields and i can update here long uh, to the end of this uh, sheet so the next one is cumulative plan value cost so what the cumulative plan value cost i have just added all the uh, previous uh, values in it like this one cumulative as 14000 so after that one it will add here 14000 will be add here 18000 so all the values will be cumulative here so what the end value is should be uh, like i will total here the total is uh, 259000 and it had the total have been equal as a plan value cost so also the similar for the earned value cost and similar uh, for the actual value cost so these three have been cumulative right now right there so the next one is estimate at completion so which formula i have implemented so i have implemented the same formula uh, which have been applied here like performance factor uh, performance factor i have applied here pf as a value as one so i considered the similar as a one and budget at completion minus earned value cost so i can see here the formula uh, budget at completion bac uh, like uh, bac mm, okay EAC let me check EAC this one is estimate at completion so ETC will check here formula for ETC and this performance factor multiplied with cumulative earn value not multiplied one will be multiplied like you can see here one will be multiplied this one is af6 so we have af6 here this one is total budget cost minus with uh, ev so also l3 is this one performance factor so this one is, is eac it's not etc estimated completion have a different formula so in that one case actual cost will be added into uh, etc so this one for formula have been also applied so this one formula have been applied here so we'll get here value in the our dashboard here performance factor have been also applied so what these uh, blue columns will do uh, this one uh, cumulative plant percent uh, or scale percent complete also so i have applied like i have just divided this one whole plant value cost with our uh, total budget cost so this one is total budget cost we have just cumulatively written here and now uh, the similar for the earned percent like performance percent also the similar formula which i have told you before and this is the cost percent so the similar all the av cv sv vac cpi cvi spi and svi and tcpi all the formula and trends have been assigned here the similar which i have discussed in my primary p6 so this one is a completely uh, the table of all the data which i have just combined here and which i have already discussed now i will go here in the my last sheet and which is my dashboard and that was my table eva table eva means earned value analysis and that one is eva uh, my kps chart so in earned value analysis there is i have just created some curve so what the curve means so i have just go through something like uh, uh, first of all i will just go here filter i will apply filter and I will remove everything. First of all, I will show you my PV curve and I have applied PV. So this one is my planned value, cumulative. So this one is just applied in whole project like this one are my duration intervals. Like I can change here, like uh, I can show you from here. Uh, this one is uh, the axis minima measure is i can add here one so this one you can see here my completely planned value uh, cumulative have been just plotted here like this one uh, like th this there is some uh, intervals mentioned here so completely there are uh, all the interval have been plotted here in this one you can see here so now what the next one is ev so you can see here when I go here plus EV and apply here. So you can see here, this one is earned value EV. 
completely. You can see here EV. Now I will go here for AC. You can see here this one is AC. So EV, AC have been plotted here. So the next one is schedule variance. Can you see here? Schedule variance. Can you see here this one? 4.5%. This one schedule SV. This one distance between our planned value and earned value. You can see here. It's marked here. We can go and zoom out right now. If we change the value, it will be automatically changed. So this one is SV. SV, what is SV? Earned value minus planned value. This one is earned value minus planned value. So this one, the height is 12.98 was planned value height. What is the next one? I will just go for CV. And I will just go here, click for the CV and apply. CV is cost variance. What is the cost variance? Earned value. This one earned value. Can you see? This one earned value. Earned value minus actual cost. This one both minuses and here we have value of 6.01. So I am taking value from here 6.01. So here we have 6.01. Let me see from here because percentage will be calculated on 6.01. So this one will be calculated on the base of over 15,587. We just get this value from here, 15,500, uh, because this value is in numbers and 15,587. So this value have been reached here. And I have just applied that formula of 15,587 divided by our total budget cost. So we get here our, like this one CV percent. So we can get here CV percent, 6.01 percent. So also as we our schedule variance is also calculated like that one. So I can also show you like this one. This one is 11,667 also written here, 11,661, 67. So this one is similar, 4.50 is calculated on the base of dividing 259.259,000. Uh, 259,177 uh, will be divided by 11,667. And now you can see here also SV have been calculated as 4.5. So it has been displayed here and I will show you the other matrix also. And the other matrix, the next one matrix is like uh, all the variances, this one AV variances remaining. So AV we have 1.51%. Also, you can see here 1.51 percent. The similar you can go in the sheet. You can see here 1.51 percent. The similar this value have been uh, obtained from there. So all this work have been done. So what what are the remaining? Our EAC estimate at completion. So estimate at completion. You can see here estimate at completion uh, is the similar like actual cost. This one actual cost this one this uh, uh, pink color actual cost plus estimate to complete first we'll show estimate to complete what are the estimate to complete so this value from our uh, budget at completion minus this one budget completion so i'll show you budget at completion this one value budget at completion minus this one ev so when we minus our finish will be lesser so i can show you like uh, what the values are this one is earned estimate at completion this one etc so we have less value like 213,859 i can also show you from uh, primary feature 6 213,859 so it's less than our bac because our earned value is greater what is our earned value we have earned more because of we have earned more. So our earned value is EV is 45,318. Uh, like we have achieved more than plan. Plan was less. So we have just a gap here. And, uh, you can see uh, this one we have. We can just do it before. Like we have 82.51% remaining work to complete. And because we have just achieved like 17.49%, uh, uh, but our uh, since our planned value or our planned value or schedule percent complete at that stage is 
like we can see here 12.98 so you can also see here 12.98 percent so still we we can achieve this one so bac to achieve bac uh, we uh, just required estimate to completion less than that one so uh, about eac like estimate at completion we required 93.99 percent why because our actual cost is also less like uh, our actual cost is 11.47 uh, percent and uh, if we have achieved 11.47 uh, percent and if we add here into estimate to completion because estimate completion also become less so we just required eac very less so it's like that one so all the representation have been done here uh, in uh, our earned value analysis curve so you can also represent to the management this one uh, the complete uh, concept about that so when your project will be completed so this project can be completed at at this point so this point uh, can be completed before maybe uh, half week before three four days as per your budget and within budget and you you can just achieve good uh, uh, as uh, accounting variance and your uh, cost variance uh, in positive so what is cost and schedule performance index comparison uh, so i already told you that if your uh, value is ahead than one uh, in the cost uh, cost uh, sense so it means that you are uh, under budget and if it's less than one it means you are over budgeted so similar in the schedule variance uh, schedule uh, performance index uh, so you can also say if you are ahead than one so it means that uh, you are just uh, ahead the schedule if you have less than one so it means you are behind the schedule so this one is uh, uh, this one orange line is representing your uh, weekly like uh, this one is first week and this one is second week and i can go go here and change the interval like uh, per week as one so you can see here and the first week there was zero and the second week uh, your uh, spi was point seven six and it's a similar which have been taken from the table 0.76 and then your spi was 1.01 so similarly your uh, schedule was uh, going ahead 1.35 and your cost performance index was uh, 1.52 it means you are recovering your budget also you are under budget and you are ahead the schedule so both one so this one should be like that one the similar so the next one is schedule various index in that one so your value is if the, your value is less than zero it indicates you earn less than your schedule if your value is greater than zero it means you have earned uh, more than your schedule so you can see here first week and second week i can also uh, change from here uh, like the intervals this one are intervals i will change from here so it gets a point a minus point uh, two four and point three five at the stage of minus uh, I can check here 0.76 so you can see here we were at behind the schedule that's why it's indicating here that uh, you have earned less so after that one we have 0.35 uh, so we are just ahead so that one it's indicating 0.35 uh, it, it's greater than 1.35 so it indicates that you are just uh, going ahead the schedule so it's like that one every weekly you can maybe uh, achieve that one so it's, it's like that one so the la last one we have earned value matrices uh earned value matrices uh like this matrix uh, are based on planned value or planned value was 12.98 our earned was 17.49 and our actual cost was 11.47 so you can see also here what the accountant's variance what are schedule variance percentage and cv percent also you can see all the three values and you can also compare our cpi that are also greater than one and uh, cvi it is in positive and our spi it's uh, uh, greater than one and it's uh, also in uh, positive if these are negative so it means they are alarming situation for the cost and schedule also so all these uh, analysis table have been given and all the trends are in positive it means uh, our completely uh, project is safe side our schedule and our cost is going to uh, on safer side so these all values uh, you can also get this from there and also uh, that 
the chart which I have used here to get these values, uh, you can also use that one. So it have been given in the link of this, uh, in the description of this video's link, or you can ask uh, to our WhatsApp number that have been given at the end of this video, and also in the description of this video, and also you can comment if you have any question related to this content. So this is our today's topic about the relevant to only uh, the relevant part about the earned value analysis in Primavera P6, and this occupies how much the part uh, of earned value management system is uh, in uh, used in Primavera P6. So it's not yet completed. I have to uh, go for another video and that will be based on earned schedule analysis and that's completely different and that's based on the project completion. So in today's topic, uh, this was completely based on the values and cost. So it's also uh, tell you about that how much uh, cost you will take out and how much uh, you will earn and what will be your actual cost of the project uh, when you will complete and how much you will earn and uh, what what will be your performance uh, sequence and what will be your performance uh, rhythm uh, to complete that pro project so it's uh, an example like if you are doing that project uh, of 500 hours and you have completed that project in 400 hours and you have spent more than what you have planned if you have planned for $1000 and you have spent $1400 uh, dollars. so you are your CPI will be like uh, it's less than one. It will be less than one, but your schedule performance index will be higher. So before completing any project, so you will know uh, at the middle stage and at the start stage of project. So you will get out from this earned value management system that at the end of project, how much uh, profit you will make and how much uh, uh, you can you can say easily and what do you can get forecasted about your uh, KPIs and you will get forecasted about in the future of the project. So you will also uh, you can also control at that stage that how many activities and how much work you have to perform in the future to cover your delays and uh, to go ahead the schedule instead of going behind the schedule or to con uh, controlling your cost with what, which you have spent to complete the previous work. Also you can control your resource. Uh, completely resource applied for uh, to achieve that activity and to achieve that cost also. So in Primavera P6, this cost topic can be go along. So uh, it will be not finished if I go for further one hour more. So it will be not completed. So my video will be end here. So I will I have just clarified my complete topic about the earned value management uh, system part as earned value analysis in Primavera P6. Next topic will be uh, right there. Keep commenting, keep liking our software demo. We'll meet you in the next video.